Our world was turned upside down. Roads were deserted. Public spaces were empty. Workplaces were totally abandoned. Trains were unoccupied. But not for long. Recording voiceovers is often something that some people think needs to be done in a pro audio studio, using other software like Pro Tools or Logic or whatever. But what if I told you you could record high quality voiceovers directly in Final Cut Pro? With Final Cut Pro open, you can hit the shortcut Command Alt 8 to open up the record voiceover window. You can also find it in the menu under Window Record Voiceover. Here you have your big red record button. You can monitor your recording level on this meter over here, and you can adjust the input gain on your microphone right here. Let me rename this recording to Brad's voiceover, and using this drop-down list, you're going to choose your input source. The built-in microphone will work in a pinch, but it's most likely going to be noisy and it won't sound great. I would suggest hooking up an external microphone for the best quality. For this tutorial, I've hooked up this wireless microphone and receiver from Lensgo. I'm super impressed with the quality of this microphone and it has some really cool features like dual channel recording and recording directly to a micro SD card. I'll leave a link for it in the description down below. It's actually what I'm using to record my audio right now. So if any of you are interested in a full review on this wireless microphone setup from Lensgo, let me know in the comments down below. You can choose to monitor your voiceover recording as you record by turning the monitor on. I would only recommend doing this if you're wearing headphones so that you don't have feedback issues while recording. With the monitor setting turned on, you can adjust the gain over here, which doesn't affect the recording level, only the monitoring level while recording your voiceover. You can mute the project while recording. I always leave it muted so that I can focus on my voiceover, but it could be handy to hear what's happening in your project if you need to time the voiceover to music or other audio cues. Again, you'll want to use headphones if you unmute the project so that your music and other sounds don't affect your recording. You can choose which event to save these recordings to, and you can also assign a role. I like to stay organized, so I would click on the drop-down box here and click on edit roles and then add a new role for voiceovers, which I'll just call VO. I'll apply that change and then select the VO role from the drop-down list. You can leave create audition from take selected if you want to be able to cycle through the different takes after recording to pick the best one. I'll show you a quick example. This is take one of a voiceover recording in Final Cut Pro. This is take two of a voiceover recording in Final Cut Pro. This is take three of a voiceover recording in Final Cut Pro. Now you'll notice this audition icon in the corner over here. Click on that and you'll open up the different takes that you can preview. If you select any of the voiceover recordings you have done and you hit the shortcut Command Shift R, you can reveal them in Finder and you'll notice that they're stored within your Final Cut Pro library file. The cool thing is, now that we've adjusted the voiceover settings, you don't have to open up the voiceover recording window every time. You can record straight away by positioning your playhead where you want the recording to start, and then you simply use the shortcut Alt-Shift-A to start recording. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you in the next one.